Let's solve one previous question of set theory. This question was asked in GATE CS 2022, question number 26. Which one of the following is the closed form for the generating function of the sequence a n n greater than or equals to 0 defined below? a n equals to n plus 1 if n is odd and it's 1 otherwise. And 4 options are given. So it is asking which one of these option is the closed form of this sequence. Now it's a generating function. So you can say summation of n equals to 0 to infinite a n multiplication x power n. So the sequence will be a 0 x power 0 plus a 1 x power 1 plus a 2 x power 2 plus a 3 x power 3 like this. Now we will substitute value for a n. So it will be n plus 1 if n is odd else it is 1 a0 is even so it will be 1 x power 0 is 1 plus a1 1 is odd so it will be 1 plus 1 2 x plus a2 2 is even so it will be 1 x square plus a3 3 is odd so it will be 3 plus 1 4 x q then a4 4 is even so it will be 1 x power 4 plus a5 5 is odd so it will be 5 plus 1 6 x power 5 plus a6 6 is even so it will be 1 x power 6 next term will be 7 plus 1 it will be 8 x power 7 like this it will continue so this sequence are 1 plus 2x plus x square plus 4x cube plus x power 4 plus 6x power 5 plus x power 6 plus 8x power 7 plus x power 8 plus 10x power 9 like this. Now this sequence is neither AP nor GP so what we will do we will divide it into two part. So 1 for odd 1 for even. Now 1 x square x power 4 x power 6 x power 8 x power 10 these are the term for even and 2 x 4 x sq 6 x power 5 8 x power 7 10 x power 9 these are the term for odd. So I'll separate odd sequence into one part and even sequence into one part and we added the brackets. Now 1 plus x square plus x power 4 this is a GP sequence and for GP sequence we know the summation formula. This is an infinite sequence so it will be a divided 1 minus r so it will be 1 divided 1 minus x square. So here a equals to 1 and r equals to x square in each term we are multiplying x square. So it will be 1 divided 1 minus x square. And the second sequence is not in GP. So first we need to convert into GP then we can find the summation. So for the first sequence we found the summation as 1 divided 1 minus x square. And consider the second sequence as P. Now let's multiply x square with P. It will be 2 x cubed. 2x multiplied by x square 2x cube then 4x cube multiplied by x square 4 x power 5 then x power 5 multiplied by x square so it will be 6 x power 7 like this so we got another sequence for p x square now we will subtract p x square from p so p minus p x square 2x minus 0 it will be 2x Next 4 x power 3 minus 2 x power 3. 4 minus 2 it will be 2 x power 3. Next 6 x power 5 minus 4 x power 5. It will be 2 x power 5. Next 8 x power 7 minus 6 x power 7. It's 2 x power 7. So like this we will get a sequence. Now from this sequence we can take 2x as a common. After taking 2x as a common, we are getting 1 plus x square plus x power 4 plus x power 6 till infinite. 
so we already know this sequence is a gp and its summation is 1 divided 1 minus x square so we got p minus p x square equals to 2 x divided 1 minus x square so p will be 2 x divided 1 minus x square whole square because this left side 1 minus x square will take to right side and before we already got one sum as 1 minus x square so it will be 1 divided 1 minus x square plus 2x divided 1 minus x square whole square now check the option it's not present in any option you just mark here this is 1 minus x 1 minus x but here we got 1 minus x square so what we need to do first we need to convert this answer into any of this form we got the answer but this is not matching so we need to convert it we need to transfer it into another form 1 divide 1 minus x square that will convert so in place of 1 we are writing 1 plus 6 minus x we are adding 1x and we are subtracting 1x so value will not changed now we can write 1 plus x divide 1 minus x square minus x by 1 minus x square we just separate it okay 1 plus x minus x divide 1 minus x square that we write as 1 plus x by 1 minus x square minus x by 1 minus x square again this we can write as a square minus b square as a minus b multiplication a plus b so we can write 1 plus x divide 1 minus x multiplication 1 plus x minus x divide 1 minus x square so now this 1 plus x 1 plus x will be cancelled we'll get 1 divide 1 minus x minus x by 1 minus x is square so here we got this 1 divide 1 minus x so this term is in answer but these term are not in answer so we need to simplify it so for simplification 2x divide 1 minus x square whole square minus x divide 1 minus x square so we'll take 1 minus x square power 2 2x will be as it is minus x multiplied by 1 minus x square so 2x minus x minus minus plus x power 3 divide 1 minus x square whole square so 2x minus x it will be x plus x power 3 divide 1 minus x square whole square now from this we can take x as a common so it will be x plus x square divide 1 minus x square whole square now this is present in option a so answer will be option a x multiplied by 1 plus x square divide 1 minus x square whole square plus 1 by 1 minus x we got this by solving but as this is not matching with any of the options so we simplify it just difference is this in option c the same is present but here it's written 1 minus x so you might think that options may be wrong and you choose option c but if you simplify answer is option a so don't conclude that option c is the answer there might be printing mistake might be this power is missing power 2 is missing or something no option c is not answer option a is the answer when we are simplifying it we are getting option a as answer if this lecture is helpful for you please like share and subscribe thank you